doing? Hello, I am Sharon Haver with a hair in my eye from FocusOnStyle.com, yes. and I'm sitting here with Brad Bowles from the Real Housewives of New York City, and also the editor at large for FocusOnStyle.com. And we're here to tell you what wrecks our nerves. Well, there's a lot of things, unfortunately, <laughs> but we're gonna get a list of ten. 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 So we're going to do this really quickly. Ten fashion faux pas. Let's do it quickly. That let us know mm -hmm. that not only have you missed the bus, you didn't even know where the stop is. Mm -hmm. So we all make mistakes. We all, we all have bad fashion <laughs> days. We all gain and lose weight and sometimes our pants get too tight and our bras get stretched out. And you all know who down. you are. So let's we get, all, on, let's get on to what we, we really We want to let do. you know that... We're it's not unacceptable. Talk, we're not talking about that. We're okay. not holier than that. We're talking about things that do not belong in your closet, and you know who you are, and once you start wearing them, you kind of know they just don't care. And we're going to start off with my favorite number one. Yes. Rapunzel hair. Now, I know that really long hair extensions are cool mm -hmm. right now. Yes. I, I think they kind of look dopey. But I'm talking about the Earth Mamas with hair down to their ankles. The crystal gale hair, and yes, I have friends who have that, and I'm oh, dying to one? save it for a makeover uh, segment. Yes. But the really long, ungroomed what hair, was, even what, if it what is crystal groomed, gale, what did she sing? What was your big song? Don't you want to make my brown eyes blue? Oh yeah. Don't you want to put some hair conditioner in my hair and trim the edges once a month, maybe? Oh yeah. She so, still is walking around with that hair, by the way. Oh, she. Yes. It's just if you when you sit down <laughs> you know and your hair trouble. is down and you're sitting on your hair, you're going, "Oops, I sat on my hair." Yeah, and how do you sleep? You could strangle yourself. You could, or I could. We could strangle you with it. So I've done this. I've said this before, and if you look on Focus on Style, Ooh. you'll see some other thoughts. I've even been on crazy long. So basically, hair what you're saying is like mail. cut that hair and donate it to charity. Yeah, donate it to charity, and if you're putting the extensions in your hair, make sure your face looks pretty with your hair that long. Wow, and the it thing fits is, your figure. and also do good extensions because the problem is when the hair separates and then you see that. When you, it's just, you, hair does not belong down here. Okay, that's number one. Yeah. Number two. It's your favorite. My favorite. You and love Usually that. it goes with the long hair. <laughs> Waitress clogs. Well, no, I that's have, a whole different generation. But. It's not, it's still around. Just go out of the out of the city. So you think once we get through all the 10 and if we can find one, if we make a prototype of one person <laughs> with all of these bad things, that's really scary. I, I have a few people I could bring in mind for a makeover. <laughs> but anyway, waitress clogs. If yeah. you're serving, that's fine. If you're a nurse, that's fine. If you're a chef, that's fine. We're not talking that's, about that the, high heel clogs. Those are confined spaces. Yeah, but but they're also not wearing their work fashion. If you're wa walking around with those clothes clogs and those weird colors, you know, I have a picture to post on these. It's, they're just horrible. They're ugly. They're dumpy. And it just says, I gave up. You know, there's you so many it, other nice... Do you nice remember when that famous fo uh, footwear designer did the high-heeled Timberland boot? Yeah, and it's... You know, did you it's, have it? No, but it's okay. Would you have had that? No, but you know, it's okay. Do you think it falls into that bad clog category? No, 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 because that's a fashion thing. That's talking about bad so you thought, fashion. You, so this you is were a okay generic with, thing. So you were okay, with, you were okay with the high heel Timberland boot thing? Yeah, I, I was. it's not my that, favorite, but it, it had it. I'm talking about unless you're in your backyard doing about, gardening. Remember the high heel tennis shoe? Unless you're in shoe? a restaurant. I actually don't mind those. Those are actually, those were fat. The, you, no, remember like who did them? ones, yeah. I don't mind. Those That's actually, I think, go for a lot of money this on eBay. Is, this, I don't think this clog thing you're talking about is ever going to go for money on eBay. No, Never. no, I don't think so. And it's, you know it's what? Not unless you're cooking, unless you're serving, <laughs> unless you're taking somebody's blood pressure, and unless you're slipping your hydrangeas. That's not when you wear those. Those are the only times those clogs are there. But and you, you know the rubber the, version of those clogs? You know, that clogs? actually should become part... Those aren't fashion. You know, that's interesting. That should actually become part of our what makes you go crazy losing your mind fashion <laughs> faux pas. If it ain't collectible in 25 years and worse something... That's a good point. Then there was something wrong with it because I'm telling you the waitress clogs never going on no. eBay. And the other thing <laughs> are... <laughs> and the other thing that ain't never going on eBay is capri pants. Now, there's the gorgeous thin capri pants, the kind that you like. And I, I like them all too. The fitted, fitted ones that are always a classic. They're yeah. iconic. And then there's those boxy ones that come and cut you off in the middle of your calf. They're then, usually they like the, outdoor ones. And they give you a pooch belly because they don't fit correctly. In or the they have an elastic band. Are they, uh, capri, or they have capri a, a, a drawstring. 
they, you, it needs to be a side zipper. It's the only kind of zipper that works on capri pants, ladies. You cannot do a back and, zipper, and you cannot do, first of all, a front zipper, and a drawstring just is that. That ceased to become a, a fabulous But you know when you go, pants. when you're looking for outdoors hiking pants, that length is a lot of the times when they zip up because you're, you know, you're on a hike and you're right. overnight. And, you and also, too, don't... And log, they zip off and, to that uh, length. I mean, it's like, hello, hiking designers. If I'm wearing hiking to, boots, I don't want my pants And stick to classic colors. There. Yeah, don't do the Navy blue, the yellow. black white and tan that's I it i know and there's something about yellow capri pants that always reminds me of that crazy old lady with her cigarette hanging out of her mouth going hey how you doing how you doing oh you know, with the orange like with the orange the tangerine nail polish tangerine coral nail polish another no no and I the know. frost and tip hair i know no no and and those mules because she can't get her foot into her shoes which mm -hmm. brings us to your least favorite thing oh uh, which one <laughs> shrimping oh no 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 we you forgot your favorite I'm thing white cotton order. turtlenecks mm. you can't even read anymore i'm not reading white I, was, I was white turtlenecks you love your white turtlenecks white cotton turtlenecks mm. the kind that they love to wear underneath a cute little it's holiday kind of a, motif you know, vest let's like think timberland sort of cute guys like i mean no these are the ones that come in a plastic package usually in an outdoor Store. Sporting store, and or you can get them wear, online. You can wear them in in, in like cold and areas. And they come in multiple colors. And, and white's not the color you want, particularly when you you don't have fluorescent white teeth. It makes you. It's an old thing. It's so, horrible. So, it's dating. It's <laughs> completely so you unattractive. Need some, you need some. You need some white strips or some laser whitening if you're you going to go you, there. You need to be wearing that 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 thermal kind of cotton turtleneck. Yes, you do. Yeah, and, and, and then they also but are you killed all, but, another photo. Uh, and they're very, it's common. You know what, common's a good word on this one. They're very common place. Well, Do not, if you, they're and in also your too, closet. If, and if you tend to, if, you, if, you're a guy, if you're a guy with a gut, yeah. or and a woman with a, a gut. They have their man boots coming out. Yeah, no, 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 it's not good. No. And then, the mammaries. Now that goes to the other one, your, your, your killer, your drag queen inspiration. Shrimping. Oh, oh, I, well, shrimping is something that I can't even, I can't even go there. It's, uh, it's so offensive. If your toes, ladies, are actually touching the ground as you're walking in a pair of heels, it's called shrimping. And there's a lot of red carpet actresses that have been busted for shrimping. We should shrimping. probably borrowing shoes in the wrong size. So if you'd like to, you should Google red carpet actresses shrimping. for shrimping. And you will see some really nasty, gnarly toes so that are crawled over your thousand-dollar Jimmy shoes, mm -hmm. and you know who you are. Well, you know the other thing about sh the shrimping is when the peep toe, when your toe hangs out, the thing that really well, drives me. Well, how, and not only when the toe hangs out, but how about the the that one of the toes that's always longer than the rest? That's and it really has, hanging. and it has that one toenail that has that knife nail coming out of it, that really sharp, long toenail. Well, they did coke out. with their toe. <laughs> <laughs> <They're toned up. laughs> and it's in some frosted color and they i don't know like get it toenail clipper it really, i don't want to know I, about I your you, toenail I, it really uh it's really i don't know if it's like maybe like maybe the middle of this country sort of thing or it's whatever a, but, it's a midwestern yeah thing. but uh, but i was just you know i mean i was those uh, white turtlenecks you know i so. saw some i saw i recently encountered somebody that actually had a long really pointed skinny pinky finger Nail. Was he a coke and, and all the dealer? Yeah, and all the rest were like cut like normally. They must have been a, if he wasn't a drug dealer. How scary is that? It's like a throwback to, to 80s drug dealers. Ugh, skanky. Okay, next. Yes. The thing that also drives me crazy, and we differ on this one, is for me, baby pink. Grown up woman wearing infantile colors, p pastels, that chalky white pastels that are the colors of, that should belong in a onesie. If you're not a baby in a onesie, you should not be wearing a full baby pink outfit. Wear a richer pink, <laughs> wear a scaparelli pink, what if wear I'm... a hot pink. Do not wear a chalky pastel pink. And that's been bedazzled as well. Oh my God. Well, how about when they, 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 they add the, uh, what's, what are those, what were they called? Those bedazzler things that you could buy back Bedazzles. in the day? No, what were they called? Were those machines where you could put... A bedazzler. The, was that what they were called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were called yeah. a bedazzler. bedazzler. Love those. You can get them on eBay, by the way. But <laughs> they still sell them. They say, yeah. So the thing is, is uh, if you're going to do baby pink, use it in small elements such as maybe... Small doses. No. A as an accent no, color. No, a silk neck scarf that you an tie accent. or an accent. Now, let's get on to a subject which is very important, which is eyebrows and grooming. Now, I know that people have hair in a lot of the wrong places, but we're not going to address that today. We're going to talk about eyebrows. Eyebrows are not meant to look like razor blades or knives flying off your forehead. They're meant to be you soft and beautiful. They should shape your face. And they should shape your face, and they should be flattering. So you don't want to get out the black eyebrow pencil and draw it on 
This is from remember Brad was a makeup artist for yeah. about seven eight hundred centuries. And I and I just it's it's I think a natural brow is absolutely beautiful as long as it doesn't connect in the middle. Yeah, no uni brow. No uni. And uh, if you are filling in any gaps and spaces that have happened over the years because you've overplucked, make sure that you brush your eyebrows up first and then fill in the space and then gently. And that your eyebrow out. pencil that you fill it in with matches your eyebrow to right. some degree or be slightly lighter. Yes, definitely. Anything that's in the it, anything that you're when it comes to eyebrows remember soft focus yeah and when you fill in your brows fill them in in short little strokes like hair don't like draw yes. them across your face absolutely okay then my other one. Oh god you this one too pants sweat pants oh. with a message on the back you should not be wearing clothing that talks to you when you leave a room <sighs> talks to me when you leave a room or your ass is talking to my somebody. ass is talking to me it's like I, we've heard a lot of asses talk but you know what keep it to the ones from here and not from down there ladies why would how would that why, how I did that ever become butt talking to no, me. but how did that ever become a stupid trend it's like it's really bad well it was cute the first five minutes around as a fad on a, a, a girl with a, you know a really a 16 year old out butt. but you know ladies it's like what is it 15 years already 10 it's at least 10 years that it's going around oh at least. and i've seen all sorts of slogans and it includes school names it it's like and it's usually the worst but i don't want to be reading your butt when you leave the room i'm sorry you know it's not cute get over it grow up throw it Abs away. and by the way it isn't couture no, no. <laughs> and then the other thing that is similar to that because it's usually yeah. footwear that comes with the sweatpants with the talking butts flip-flops I know, I know. You, you love uh, flip flops. They're comfortable. What are they called, Javianas? Yeah, and they're great. They're great for the beach. It's they're very great for well, back and forth for a pedicure. They're great on a weekend in the. They're beach great if resort. you're Cheech and Chong, <laughs> <laughs> in a van, but they're not great. They're not, they're not proper footwear. Well, they're not a fashion statement either. Well, people wear them all the time. It's in the, and you know what drives me crazier than that? Oh my God! No, the ones with wedges, the flip flops no, 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 with no, no, wedges, no, 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 no. The ones that drive me, tops. you know, the ones, the ones, the flip flops that drive me crazy are the ones that you see in those really bad seaside resorts that are a little kitten heel, the kitten heel flip flop. And the, I like have you the seen one, those? Yes, you know, I've so seen like, those. And the bedazzled flip flop. Have, have, have you worn a kitten heel flip flop? No. Why would you put a heel on a flip flop? Well, it's better than a flat one if you're going for a pedicure. Like, if you're not going for your pedicure, and you know, I know, so I, I you know have, one of my, have, my contributors have, came to me with this fabulous flip-flop. Do you have a kit and heel flip-flop? No. Do you have a flip-flop? Yeah, I do. What did you use it for? The pedicure. That's what I used mine for, actually. <laughs> In the beach. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, and I got I got them, I think, it's true. Fashion Week a million years ago. <laughs> Same actually, one. I, got, I wear it. What? I, you wore flip-flops to Fashion no, Week? No, they were giving them out. And those are my, my pedicure shoes. That's it. Pedicure shoes. That's not even it. No more. No less. Okay, next. Uh, terrible. Short shorts. Yeah, we got to make this one fast because we've got to wrap yeah, it up. Well, so we let's have talk a bonus for you. Because it's short really disgusting. Shorts. <laughs> if, Over a certain if the bottom, age. If the bottom of your tuchus is hanging out of the shorts and your waist is bigger than the length on the shorts, you got yeah, it all Your short wrong. shorts should not be wider than it is long. Yeah. And even if you think it's a fashion statement by wearing them with high heels and you have gorgeous mm -hmm. legs after a certain leg... A, age no matter how gorgeous your legs are it doesn't look good and if you're the, yeah. back to that yellowstone taurus look of the short shorts and the big it, no, no 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 it's not flattering it's I not agree. it's not a fashion statement it's not <sighs> flattering it's it works bad. on a few it's bad. and for the universal bonus throwaway yeah. if this is you and we know who you are because you can't miss it you, you just why don't you just say I don't really care how I look because we'll believe you. There are so many other choices. Okay, There's get to the no point. Nobody cares. Wear Nobody cares. White cross training sneakers. White boxy cross training sneakers. Okay. Unless yeah. you're at the gym, yeah, you, I'm sure you can find nicer cool. gym shoes. Absolutely. You're working out, that's fine. Right. If you want to wear sneakers, there are nicer sneakers out oh, there if you yeah. want to go for that. White cross training sneakers. If you are not online at the early birthday, and if you're special, not Jane Fonda, does if she you're, even if wear white ones? No, you know what they are, those cheap no, white ones. No, she did. She or the worst the ones she did with the, the, the her Velcro. exercise video. But wasn't you know, that like 1970-something? Uh, yeah, something? hello. Hello, and they're still wearing them? Yeah. Ew. All right. Anyway, we're focused on style.com. Check in with us for even more repulsive things that we hate. <laughs> but remember, we're all human, and we've all made mistakes. We know what they are. Own them. Live up to it. Move on. And fashion, you know, it's like a good recipe. You have to start with great ingredients. So great ingredients are not those white sneakers. No. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy your Rapunzel hair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't sit on it.